Let's turn your day shots into night shots. It's super easy. Let's do it. What's up guys, Dr. Lay back with another video. I hope you guys are doing great today. Today we're gonna to be color grading our day shots and we're gonna make them look like they were shot at night. Now this is actually a really popular technique. A lot of people actually use this because when you're shooting at day, you can get a lot sharper of an image. You don't really have to bring up that ISO and that will introduce a lot of grain. So people actually shoot sometimes, they shoot their shots at day and color grade them for night. So you know it's a night shot, but it's a lot more visible, a lot more sharp. Now, if you don't wanna watch this video, I'm gonna leave a LUT in the link below. You can just throw that LUT on your footage. It'll instantly color grade your footage for nighttime. But if you wanna do it for yourself, just watch this video, it's real quick, and I'm gonna show you guys all the simple steps. Now I wanna talk about step one. Before we start, if you're planning on doing this and you know you're gonna shoot that day, it is best when you get a shot that does not have harsh sunlight because if there's gonna be harsh sunlight, it's gonna be hard to color grade, especially if that shot includes the sky. Color grading out that really bright blue sky is really hard. It doesn't look natural at night, so it's better when it's a cloudy day or if your shot does not include the blue sky and you're shooting either a top-down drone shot or or, you know, a vertical shot, but it doesn't include a lot of sky or wherever it includes the sky, it is cloudy. However, if you've already shot the shot and you're in a pinch here, this will work very well, but it is preferably if there's not a lot of highlights on the body or around, it's very even lighting. Cloudy is gonna be the best bet for this. So here in the computer, we have a simple shot of a car driving along this fall road. We have our Lumetri color tab open, which is very essential. So we're gonna get started here. Number one, and I'm sure you could guessed it, we're really gonna wanna darken this image. Remember, it is nighttime. We're gonna be tweaking everything, but I like to just bring it down where everything is kind of just evenly lit, not that bright. Now, the second step for this image is gonna be to bring that tint to the blue side. At night, it is usually that blue moonlight. Your image is gonna be very blue, so it's best to bring that temperature slider all the way over to the blue side. Even this, could could go a little more blue, but we're gonna stick with this for now. Now next, we're gonna wanna drop those shadows. During the nighttime, the only thing that's lit up from that blue moonlight is gonna be those clear areas where the moonlight is hitting. But any of the shadows are gonna be completely pitch black. So dropping those shadows is great. Another way you can do this is adding contrast. If I bring back up those shadows and just add a bunch of contrast, that'll make this image really, really pop. Now one thing is blue moonlight is not the same color as the sky during the day, which is a light blue. You wanna change the tint of your blue to a more darker gruesome blue. So what you can do is come over to the curves panel. You can go to the hue versus hue where you can select a hue and then change that hue. You're gonna select something that's blue right there. Now I like to take these little sliders, bring them out a bit so that you can change more colors. And then with this, we can kind of play with the hue of this blue. So as you can see here, it's more of a teal. We bring it down, we bring it down. There, it becomes more of a purple. So we just kind of want to bring it just a tad down. Now we can play with the other tone sliders. The highlights are gonna pop a bit, but not too much. Those blacks, we want to make them dark, as dark as we can without clipping. Also, I like to drop the saturation just a tad at night. Not everything is gonna be as vibrant as it was during the day. Now we can drop that exposure a bit. If we want to add more contrast, we can simply RGB curves, grab this top one. We're gonna to wanna to bring that up and we're gonna drop this bottom one. Bang, good contrast. As you can see, it's real dark, so we might have to pop that up a bit. Highlights a little strong. Again, you're gonna be playing with this. Those lines probably won't be that bright during the nighttime. So what we can do to drop that Let's grab these whites, bring them down, and then maybe drop that contrast just a tad. This shot looks pretty good. One thing you'll notice, this car doesn't have any headlights, so you have to think about your shot and if anything would be different in the shot during the night. Now, what I can do to fix that is I can obviously track some headlights and some pointed lights in this direction forward. That's gonna be a little complicated. That's gonna be getting into visual effects, but you have to note that. So this shot looks pretty good. It looks like nighttime compared to daytime. Now we're gonna play with something a little different. This is a performance shot. Since this footage is logged, the first thing I would recommend you do is put on a Rec. 709 LUT to turn it into Rec. 709 footage instead of log, instead of that flat profile. If you're confused where you can get one of those, just go to your camera manufacturer website. There should be downloads for Rec. 709 LUTs. Just search up your camera, Rec. 709, or log to Rec. 709 LUT. So there you go, we got that LUT. So now everything is in Rec. 709. Now let's check out if we were to copy paste over this LUT to give us a good starting point. Bang, already you can see 
looks great. Now, obviously at night with no lights on him, he's gonna be pretty dark. One thing you can do to kind of even this out is instead of bringing those blacks dark, you can kind of bring up those blacks and it'll make a more of a faded effect. And then if you look at him, you can still see detail in his clothes and in everything. So that's a good way to add a little bit of detail in the shadows when you know that he won't be lit up at night. Another way you can do this is just add some faded film if you'd like. Finally, the last place where you can play with the tones over here in the color wheels and match, you can bring up those mid tones if you'd like and bring those down those shadows play around with that but as you can see it looks pretty nighttime with this rap video and all I really had to do was copy paste so just know if you're color grading multiple clips you can just throw back and forth and then just do small adjustments and it should look pretty similar but yeah that's pretty much the video again there's a LUT below if you'd like to just download the LUT and throw it on obviously you'd have to make a small changes but this will pretty much make your footage look like nighttime and yeah question of the day for you guys let me know what the favorite time of day for you guys to shoot is but yeah my name has been Dax Berlay. I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys got some value out of creators keep creating I'll see you guys next week. Peace.